I woke up today to the new Scarlet and Violet trailer and also my mentions full of new possible leaks for the games. Let's just jump right into it. They may not be 100% legit, I'm skeptical on a couple, but let me know down below what you think. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Tox and welcome back to another Scarlet and Violet video. I am a content creator on here on YouTube and also on Twitch and I'm going to be streaming the release of Scarlet and Violet as soon as it's out. If you guys want to play through the game with me, definitely be sure to subscribe and follow me over on Twitch and stay tuned for the announcements of when I'll be live. First and most importantly, we have screenshots of the evolutions for our starter Pokemon. Finally! Along with the middle evolution recently released, we have Fake Coco's evolution here. It's a scary looking crocodile. It has flames all over it. I am unsure if this is 100% real or not, considering it's meant to have a ghost typing. But if it's real, this Pokemon looks like an impressive Pokemon. It's going to be a huge, huge physically attacking beast. I'm really excited to use this. The design is just a little bit off for me compared to the other Pokemon we've seen so far in the Scarlet and Violet trailers. But maybe this is just a just an image before they round it out and make it super smooth. If this is the evolution of Fake Coco, I definitely picked the right starter. Next up, we have Sprigatito's middle and final evolutions. And sadly, they don't stay on all fours like some people really want. The middle stage kind of looks like Puss in Boots like in Shrek. It looks cute, but like it will slash my throat if I try and pat it at all. Here is the final evolution, and I'm unsure what to think really. It's a magician on two legs, and it looks okay, but I'm not the biggest fan of this Pokemon. Sprigatito fans, are you happy with this? Are you happy with the fact that it stands on two legs? Is the design what you expected? And finally, the last of the Pokemon that we start with, Quaxly. The evolutions from the Pokedex kind of look a bit off. They kind of look a bit average if it is true. It looks fan-made in a way, and I'm hoping it is fan-made because it doesn't really fit what I'd hoped for. It doesn't meet my expectations at all. So Fake Coco will be my choice still moving forward, but do these images change your mind on what starter you want to choose at all? I feel like some people might be leaning towards Fake Coco a little bit more now, but I still see some fans of Sprigatito choosing Sprigatito. As a huge Wooper fan, I am not thrilled at what this evolution looks like to be honest, and I hope it isn't legit at all. There was so much potential here, and it does look derpy just like Quagsire's form from the recent games, but I'm not sure if it's in a good way or not. I'm unsure if I'll keep Weeper and add it to my squad anymore, or I might just give it an EVO light and just let it chill. Weeper really had so much potential, and there's so many fan-made images of what Quagsire could be evolving from this form of Weeper, and I really wish they went with one of them. We have also an awesome little Grasshopper Pokemon and a Mouse Pokemon confirmed. The designs for a lot of the Pokemon revealed in Generation 9 so far have been hit and miss so far, but this Grasshopper Pokemon looks great. The first stage looks cute as heck, and then it evolves into a beast, which I'm guessing will just be grass and bug type, or maybe grass and steel or bug and steel. I'm impressed by this one, to be honest, and I might actually consider adding this to my squad. And then we've been blessed with this cute little toxic mouse Pokemon, Shroodle. Literally a perfect name for this appearance. I hope it evolves because it seems a little weak just to survive on its own, but it's one for the trainers who like cute Pokemon and want a cute Pokemon collection for their team. And last but not least, we have some news on the chonk. Here we can see a male and female evolution form who look good in my opinion. The chonk is still the cutest Pokemon of all time, so it would be hard to let it evolve into one of these. But I feel like these two Pokemon are full of potential and they're definitely going to have cool typings to go with their cool appearance. I'm unsure about hog Pokemon. I don't think I'm going to add these Pokemon to my team, but they're definitely going to be see like cool to see around the map. So there you have it, there are some more leaks for Scarlet and Violet. I'm getting super excited for this game. I keep saying it in every one of these videos. Let me know down below what your favorite leak has been so far and if any of these Pokemon you'll be adding to your team just because you've seen what they look like. I think I'm gonna go with Fue Coco. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add any of these Pokemon to my team and I'm really reconsidering that Weeper choice. But who knows, when I play the game, it might feel a lot different. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support lately. I hope you enjoy these videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.